Hey friend, welcome back to the Grounded Sleep Podcast. I'm David and I'll be your guide tonight. I am the founder of the Meditation School app, host of this podcast, and on occasion, I tell a couple jokes. (laughs) So as we're getting into bed tonight, before we fall asleep, I've got a few of them for you. They're not very good, but it's what I've got. So the first one is, what do sheep count when they can't fall asleep? And the answer is, people. (laughs) We count sheep, sheep count people. The next joke is, how often should you sleep in a tower? How often should you sleep in a tower? And the answer is, every fortnight. That was straight up terrible, and I apologize, but we'll keep it in the episode. (laughs) And the last one is, where do burgers go to sleep? On a bed of lettuce. (laughs) Ouch. On that note, if you're not in bed yet, go ahead and get there. As always, make sure you've brushed your teeth, you're in your pajamas or whatever you sleep in. The room is at a good temperature. It's dark. It's important to really set the energy in the space when we go to sleep. And it's nice to have a ritual. So if you feel like you don't have all of that dialed in, don't worry. But perhaps this year, one of your resolutions could be to start to have a good sleep ritual. And tonight's episode is on sleeping like a baby. And I mean the kind of baby that sleeps through the night, hopefully. I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, a really young kid, I remember just being so in the moment. I didn't worry about anything. And so sleeping like a baby to me means being very warm and comfortable, present and held. So go ahead and get really comfortable. Let your eyes drift closed if you're not there yet. And this might sound strange, but go ahead and say hello to your inner baby. We all have an inner child. We all have an inner teenager. We also all have an inner baby. You used to be one. Let yourself feel what it was like to be a baby. To be held. To be so deeply in the moment that you don't even know anything else exists. Allow all the tension in your body to start to drain away. One of the things we do with babies is we play beautiful music for them or chimes. We set the atmosphere for them in their room. Let 
Let yourself enjoy the music. And just be held by the womb of your bed. Allow the softness of your bed to let your body just rest. One of the beautiful qualities of a baby is innocence. A baby doesn't have a past in this human life. It hasn't made any mistakes yet. And so much of its future is based on how much love it gets. So as you begin to drift off into sleep, you can do it with the intention of really just loving that baby inside you. Really let yourself nurture this inner child in you. And at the same time, let your inner child show you. Let it help you remember what it means to just be at rest. And babies, just like puppies, tend to sleep a lot of hours. They need a lot of rest. Feel yourself just drifting off into that rest. No effort, no agenda, no problem to solve. Just being in the consciousness of a baby. An innocent, peaceful mind. Allow your breath to be slow and deep. Let your whole body start to melt into your bed. Allow the deep, still night to pull
pull you into sleep. In this space, there's no right or wrong. There's no past or future. There's just rest. And deep in rest is where you find your true nature. Allow that innocence and that love of that baby inside you to be really present. Notice how beautiful it is. As you drift off into sleep, perhaps tonight in your dreams, you'll reconnect on a very deep level with that part of you, with that inner child, that was here when you were born, that was with you as you were growing up and that is still with you. Let that breath begin to slow. And tonight's going to be a very special night, a beautiful, restful sleep. You can have great dreams and you're going to wake up rejuvenated. Allow yourself to begin to drift off. There is nothing left to do.
have a beautiful, restful sleep. And I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>